Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nakia. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that. In this video, I wanna talk about Courtney Taylor and Christian Toby Ambaselli. Now, I'm sure you already heard about this story, but if you haven't, a white woman named Courtney Taylor unalived her Nigerian American boyfriend. He was 28 years old and this incident took place in Miami, Florida. Right now, she isn't facing any charges and she was taken to a mental institution after the incident occurred. The police are still investigating on whether it was self-defense or not. But on a side note here, we all know if this was a black woman who had committed this type of crime, she would be arrested and she would be in jail, even if she was innocent. A black woman named Marissa Alexander was sentenced to 20 years just for firing a warning shot and her husband had threatened to unalive her and he attacked her. And this also happened in Florida. But let's get back on track to the main topic here. It's been reported that this was a very toxic relationship and that the police were called to their home on multiple occasions. Before we get into the demeaning and degrading tweets about black women that have resurfaced from Christian's Twitter account, let's talk about Courtney for a second. I think she does a great job at weaponizing her white tears. It's like right after this incident happened, she was on OnlyFans. And there was also a video of her that went viral. She was sitting at a bar casually, just having a drink as if nothing happened. And there was also another video that resurfaced of her on a podcast saying that she only dates rich black men. Let me clarify, I only date rich black Okay, guys. rich black guys, there we go. <laughs> so that basically lets us know what this relationship was based on, money. And from his perspective, I would have to say it was based in self-hatred. He made a lot of disparaging comments about black women on his Twitter. And if you haven't seen them, here they are. So he received a lot of backlash for these tweets that have been resurfaced. And a lot of black women have been refusing to get involved and not really showing any empathy. And I don't really blame them. I also noticed that Christian's family started a GoFundMe page and a lot of black women were saying that they are not donating. I think black women are just at this point tired of carrying the community while at the same time being devalued and underappreciated. So I did see a variety of different responses from black women. So just take a look. Personally, I feel like it's a very sad and unfortunate situation. And I know those tweets were very hurtful to black women, but it is important that we think with our logic and not our emotion. Because even though he had a lot to say about black women, we have to remember that his mother is a black woman and she's the one who has to bury her child. So we have to look at the bigger picture here. Honestly, this whole situation kind of feels like a horror movie by Jordan Peele. Her lawyers are trying to claim that it was self-defense. And I'm not saying it was or it wasn't because we don't know all the facts of this case. This was a very toxic relationship, so it's not fair to paint a narrative when you don't know the facts. So that's all I have for this video. Tell me what you guys think about the situation in the comments, and I'll see you on the next video.